hey, we're back. Looks like 200 meter racing. We observed this elite paddler doing a one minute trial on a typical ergometer. We thought that if the paddler could reach further for each stroke, that the paddler would achieve a longer distance in the same amount of time. However, in the end, what we observed was very different from what we expected. So, there's a perfectly logical reason why the paddler was unable to get further distance by reaching further in her stroke and that's because inside the muscle the muscle mechanics there's a thing called the actin myosin overlap your muscle shortens and therefore your joints move when the filaments slide closer together and this is achieved when the myosin heads attach to the actin further in the queue so to speak. So the bottom line is at the end range of movement there or here you're weaker because there's less actin myosin overlap. At mid range of movement inside your muscle is more like this situation where there's more grip, more traction, more pulling or pushing between the actin myosin and your stronger. For a 200 meter race, your priority is probably high force in a short amount of time. In which case, power best generated from having a lot of actin myosin overlap and operating mid range of movement. In a longer distance race where economy of movement becomes an issue and you want to produce less strokes overall so you don't get so tired then you typically would see or observe paddlers using longer strokes and less number of strokes overall.